On KGW News at 5, a major MAX project now underway. That means no train service on parts of Portland's east side, but it will also impact most of the MAX system. Thank you for joining us. I'm Nina Melhoff. Shuttle buses will be replacing those trains, and that'll last for the next three weeks while crews work on track upgrades along the I-84 corridor. Bryant Clerkley spoke with riders about the disruptions. All train service will be suspended between Northeast 7th Avenue and the Gateway Transit Center until May 6th. Shuttle buses will be running on loop in between those stops. I spoke with several TriMet users today who were confused by these changes, but everyone was able to make it to their destination. Crews have already started the track upgrades and maintenance along the MAX rail line stretching the Interstate 84 corridor. Shuttle buses will be running in between the stations at Lloyd Center, Hollywood, Northeast 60th Avenue, and 82nd Avenue. Danny Orzalak rides the MAX every day and was a bit confused this morning. Which bus do I hop on, man? You know. I mean, I see a bunch of numbers. He says, just hop on a shuttle bus, you know. They'll shuttle you right to where you're supposed to go. Well, yeah, I, I see different numbers on everyone, you know. The yellow and orange lines will run on their normal schedules, and the west side blue line will run on its normal schedule from Hillsboro to Northeast 7th Avenue. But for the suspended lines, riders will need extra time. Plan to leave 30 minutes early. So we will have extra staff out, out uh, at the closed stations, helping people uh, uh, make their connections and uh, get to where they need to go. It's not what you want to deal with, but it's what you have to deal with. Um, they're just trying to make things better, you know, so we all got to work together. Shuttle buses will be running every five to seven minutes between the stops. In Portland, I'm Bryant Clerkley, KGW News. And we'll let you know how Monday morning's commute goes on Sunrise. Well, we